So as you were saying, growing up in the Bronx, it was home for you. Um, Downbeat was your sound. Was yes. that the sound that gave you the inspiration to build sound? Yes, man. Downbeat was like, you don't know, to me, the godfather of the thing. Mm. You know what I mean? And then, you know, that's the sound we used to listen to and, you know, say, yeah, you know, I want to be like them and then, you know. Mm -hmm. And I see it and, you know, school, Tony school, them and them a general. Mm -hmm. Enough respect to Tony school. Okay. Don't know. Yeah. So was Rolex sound built in America or was it when you came to the UK? No, the sound that I had in the States, I mandated call it Superior. Okay. That's so when I said with them time that we have like Lee Van Cliff, Louis Lepke, mm. Danny Dredd, you know, General Plow, you know what I mean? Them type of artists there. So mm -hmm. when I said, so when I came to the UK now, I'm there and thing, and you know, so when I play here and so when I play there, and you know, so boy, I mean, love this thing here from my youth. I'm kick back and say, Yo, you know, say, oh, I'll be that sound, you know. Mm. See, this was in um, 2000. Mm -hmm. See, see, I'll be that sound. So I go to so pack a bag and Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Go to Jamaica and come back to England with basically a suitcase full of 45. Mm. See, no clothes, just a suitcase. <laughs> Straight there. music. And just 45 and then that and CDs with those dubs now. Mm -hmm. So I say, and then we just take it from, you know. So you went to, so you was already cutting dub plates. You already had it in your head, say, yo, this is the levers I'm going on. So you came here, you already voiced dub plates in, in Jamaica, is that no, right? No, 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 no. When I said to myself, so, all right, I'm going to build a sound. Mm -hmm. When I put my mind to it and I said, all right, I'm going to do it. The first trip to Jamaica, when mm -hmm. I said, all right, sound thing at England. Yeah. When I come back, that's when I start cutting tunes in Jamaica. Okay. Yeah, and then... So I can say suitcase mm -hmm. was far to fives and you know what I mean. What was your first set of dub plays? Can you remember the first set of oh, artists right. I mean, first who, who, who set of dub plays? It was like a couple and a cocoa tea, Admiral Tibet, President Brown, you Brown, mm -hmm. um Barry Brown. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um those tunes in yeah. general, mm -hmm. you get me? Tunes that was happening at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kinda you know like that, it's kinda like that moment where when you when you're building a sound, you just gotta literally build a catalogue yeah, very because, quickly. You know, you have to start cutting tunes yeah. from way back, back, back mm. you know, old singers and yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, you're yeah. trying to get up to scratch, yeah, get yeah, up yeah. to you know up to the time. Yeah, yeah, up to the and time. And be on par be on par with the sounds who was, was going in on the, uh, the yeah. UK. Which were those who were those sounds at that particular time that you was well, yeah, on your like radar? Freedom, sovereign. Yeah, well, you know, loot and sound them, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, you had like the sax and and you had the v, um, v Rocket, Venus, mm -hmm. and you know what I mean? Love Injection and them sound they were, mm -hmm. you know, I used to say, yeah, man, them sound they bad still, you know? Yeah. You know, more and do the thing like how them I do it. Mm -hmm. And I see it, so we just put to mine and us, you know what I mean? Nothing try, nothing done, you mm -hmm. see me? Trust me, man. Yeah. Where did the name come from? Rolex. All right, it's a watch, my boy, you know? <laughs> You know what? It couldn't be anything else, to be yeah. honest. You know, <laughs> it's a watch, my boy. You know, uh, I, I buy a watch, a Rolex watch. Bad watch, I'ma say, you know what? A Rolex is so near, you know. Yeah. And from that day until now, I just Rolex for say. Uh -huh. You know, see, we no switch, we no change yeah. name, we no say we belong to a next sound and jump and we just say, all right. For we say sound thing, we just say Rolex. Mm -hmm. I always, I, said, I always thought yeah. it was Rolex because you know what time it is. That's yeah, another when thing it comes too. To Rolex. No, we, yeah, man, <laughs> we ever know the time, I know what time it is. That's what I'm saying. So you you're progressing now. Yes, you yes. make the link with Chin, which Chin was saying that he's known you from day one. Yeah, man, I know Chin from Chin. You know what I mean? You know, from Chin at Tadla. Uh -huh. and, and from Chin was about a thought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> See that? Yeah. He I, was saying that. Um, he was basically. You said to him like when he reached age. Yeah. Um, you can come and join the sound. Yes, because I knew that his father is a man who love music. Mm -hmm. See, and, and his father now, you know, the thing from a long time. Yeah. I come here, come see them, my man, they play blues. Okay. I've all them sound in a blues and after party, you know, I don't have chin play so gone. Mm -hmm. So chin now, when chin I grew up now, me know that chin love the thing because chin ever, I fix up him CD pouch yeah. and them thing there and thing. So you could spot the talent from Yes, from man. I see it long time and know, same have it in him. Mm -hmm. See, so I ever used to show him, say, yo, when you reach the age where you're legal for go in a parties and dance, mm -hmm. I hear a thing. Mm -hmm. See, and him say, yeah. So when him reach the age, see, as him reach the age, <laughs> him find me, see, 
And I just go so and hand over the, it's like handing over the, the key to him. Mm-hmm. You understand? Because as far as me concerned, me are the elder still, but him is the future. Mm-hmm. You understand? So as far as me concerned, I feel him sound. Yeah. You see me, I say, I'm just there for him as mm-hmm. the elder now for those kind of guide the way. You know what I'm saying? What, what, do you, what do you see in Chin that you don't see in other selectors that makes him so special to have on Rolex Sound? All right. As far as me, see, yeah. Chin, he have something where enough of we don't have right now. You know what that is? Mm-hmm. Being young and fresh. Mm-hmm. You, you see me getting yeah. up to date. So it's always good as an elder to have, you know, like a champion be beside you every time. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Because certain tunes might slip your head as certain tunes are going, you know, you might not you know, I feel them tuning. Yeah, but yeah. as a youth now, he must say, yo, this is what's happening now, you know, and mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. So that is, you know, a key thing. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah. sorry to cut you. So Rolex is two members solid, or do you have three. other three? Three, are we seeing? But it's mostly like Chin and me still. See, mm-hmm. I have like, like, like elders. Okay, you know? then who uh, yeah. back the thing and support. Yes, yeah, and thing and thing. But it's really as far as me concerned, a Chin and Rolex <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> so I say, no, at the moment. Mm. As far as I'm concerned, from now until, mm-hmm. because we're not planning to stop the thing in a start. Yeah. We're planning to build the thing bigger and be big, 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 bigger. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's been a great journey for you so far. Yes, man. Um, I've yes, kind man. of, I think, Chin, I've seen, I've seen um, you do a lot of social media. You've shown that you, you're versatile inside the juggling thing, the clash situation right now. Um, I know that you've been in a few clashes, um, but the one for this year, which was, UK Badadan destination. Yeah, Badadan, Badadan. Uh, you know, I mean, Jai was self still, and I mm-hmm. think, you know, it was all right. I feel all right. Second mm-hmm. place. I think Look. I have to say, being in the position that I'm in right now, and when you talk to other sound systems, etc., etc., a lot of people, them kind of didn't know a lot about Rolex. Yeah, yeah. But you proved to them to be a force yeah, to be something to be with. watched. So it's really, really something yeah. to be uh, proud of. Um, I'm gonna just pass the mic over to Chin. Yeah, you held it, fam. Like from the from the get go, yeah. confidence was there. Man was on the stage. You kind of set the pace. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, unfortunately, second place, which is not bad it's at not all, bad. man. Against not, the, the biggest sample, platform we've, we've been on. It's crazy. Honestly, second place. I thought we did very well. If and I'm proud of our team. Yeah. If there was anything, because because we, I know that I know that you like you said you're mad competitive. And you're very confident and very talented. Stepping away from there when you get time to kind of reflect on it. Like, do you know probably where you went wrong or what happened? Why you, you just didn't get that grasp on that trophy? Um, what could I put it down to now? I don't know. I felt like just at the end of the night, it was just more for them than it is for us. Mm-hmm. I, that's what I feel. But I, I'm not disappointed, nothing. I'm very happy where we come. Mm-hmm. I think... I think personally, Natalie, if would they get to finish out the one to ones, mm-hmm. probably would have been a different situation because would they just start play one for one tune? Yeah. Like build where I build the thing, you know, about mm-hmm. three to four songs to play. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Not taking anything from sample. from the yeah. sample still. Mm-hmm. I respect Jew still. So I said, mm. but <laughs> trust me. The box is deep. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? And me as a youth now, from a little youth now, me enough of the elders them. Mm-hmm. We grew up with them and the man they and I man father was good friends. Mm-hmm. Like the sugar miners and the Ken Boots and the So when it comes to certain foundation tunes, mm-hmm. the, the, we have them luck. You know what I'm saying? With, right now, where we go so and need you see like the twenty minute clashes and Mm-hmm. 20 minute segments, same thing there. But I like for really book a sound where we can go like even hour, hour, mm-hmm. like how the original thing used yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a man can see where we are come from, where we have. Mm-hmm. You understand? You know what I mean? That's the real thing. But you know, so far, you know, we can do whatever mm-hmm. we want to do, you know? And we just love the thing and we just do the thing. Yeah, man. Good sound system as well. Yes, man. We so you're constantly system, working man. on it. There's always something yes, happening, man. something fresh yes, added to man. the thing. Um, I'm going to ask the question I, I ask all sound man because it's a question that people always talk about. Everybody has an opinion, but you can't really get the proper answer yeah. unless you ask a sound man. Can you call yourself a sound man 
But you got no sound. You can call yourself a DJ. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But a sound man, sound man. Have his equipment. You have your equipment. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing from we build Rolex sound. We ever have a sound. The first sound that I had. When I first built that sound, you used to have Kilimanjaro play upon the sound, Stone Love play upon the sound, Tony, Mat Tony Mataran. Mm -hmm. You name it, you used to play upon that man's sound and them love it. Seeing, but after a while, I kind of got, I'm going to, you know, pack up the sound thing and I kind of mm. just, you know, faded away. And then I realized, what are you doing? You see me? And Chin come in and we just, we just build back a brand new thing. Mm -hmm. And I said, right, you know, we have a sound system if your man want, we have, we have party sound if you want a little small thing or if you want a big thing, we have that. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, so we consider ourselves as sound man. Mm -hmm. See, none of those laptop thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, we have the full force. And Chin, I mean, you're, you're a lot younger in the thing right now. Um, how do you feel about it? Because, I mean, like, in... The thing about with, with you is that it, you, it's very fortunate that you've got an elder who knows the business, has a sound system where yeah. you kind of you're 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 fully yeah. loaded. Um, a young sound coming out now, trying amps, wires, speaker, fix this problems here, then dub plates on yeah. top of that yeah. to try and reach there. Um, how do you? T what's your take on it? You think you still technically have to have a sound system to be calling yourself a sound? You have to have something. In my opinion, you have to have something. If you even if you can go to a little party with four stand-up speakers and two bass, mm -hmm. you have to have something. But they call themselves sound man because they they can say, "Well, I can pay my reggie in this. He's gonna come and bring you sound. Mm. No problem. There's no problem in that." But yeah. you can't be on certain things. I've seen forty-five shop lock happen. Big up Winston Love Injection, and be a hiring thing going on. So. I feel mm. like the ones who've got their sound should be more first come first serve. Okay. Because they've done the right thing to reach there. Mm -hmm. Forty five shop blocks something that you're looking to go into probably next year? Next year, yeah. Mm -hmm. A couple of little bits to do with the sound system, yeah, but it's something I'm looking yeah. into most definitely. If you if you had your perfect forty five shop lineup, Rolex and two other sounds, who would they be? You pick one, I pick one. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Well, right now, I like for all our liquor sample on a one-to-one -one basis. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Because, you know what I mean? We have something to prove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I like for all them still and chin. Tell them who you like. A bad sound in London, Platinum Cartel. Mm -hmm. Bad sound. So give Rolex, them, give them Platinum ratings. Cartel. Big, big Rolex. Hello. Yeah. Any sound coming from I was saying, like, we're not going to run from no sound. Yeah. Mm. See, we're not going to run from no sound. Mm. Any sound come and say, them want to, you know, do a thing. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we can do it, you know what I'm saying? Because, <laughs> you know what I mean? Do, ready yeah. when you're ready. Yeah. Yeah. From the you papers is right to the contract. From the papers side. is right yeah. because, you know what I'm saying? We're ready for anything. If Saxon come and want clash mm -hmm. right now, mm. right place, right time, give him a hard time to mm -hmm. see him. Because we're not running from no sound. Mm -hmm. Not saying we's the bodies and the wickedest because there is still time for learn other mm. things and more things. But we're not having from nothing. What's you your what take on the UK um, vibes? I, I personally think that we've had a good year for UK sound system culture. Yeah. It's big. Um, and you're kind of in the thick of it now. Yeah. Your performance at UK Ballad and Show that you're definitely on the road to glory. It's going to be mad next year. Uh, what, what, what's your kind of like thoughts on, on, on the, the current uh, climate in the UK right now? Can I say something? Yeah. I think, I think it's very good. After this year, I don't think the UK, we, we've got no excuse to ease up. So mm. next year, I think clashes need to be happening a lot more and a lot thicker because there are bad sounds in the UK. Mm. Very bad sound, but I don't think the UK should ease up. Especially we, definitely not easing up. Mm. And it's the people who say UK falling off or fell off or whatever. But remember, you know, we live in the UK. We seen what's going on here. Mm. The same thing with the music team because remember, you know, reggae music and dancehall thing. We're getting a fight. You know, sometimes the clubs them and thing are closed early on. You know, you can't get to do what you want to do, mm. but. You have good times we with something in the States the same way and you have bad times the same yeah. way. Jamaica mm. same way. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Europe same way. So them can't just put everything say UK sounds. We're doing yeah. our part in the thing. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? If a UK sound leave UK and go to the States right no, 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 they will do very, then we come so and do all right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it's new. Yeah. Just like if a, a sound come from the States and come here, people want to hear them and so, you know, things will go so and go on. Mm-hmm. So it's just up to we as the people them that's in the thing for us do what we have to do and us do it the right way. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So the thing set up. Between the two of you, very confident. Love the connection that you both have together. Yeah, man. Uh, the music is is there. I know the music's there. You know what I mean? Nobody have to tell me nothing about that. But there's that ongoing discussion with these artists them um, charging uh, crazy amounts of dough yeah, for, yeah, for, yeah. For, for voicing songs. Um, now you're in that environment now. And probably have to kind of spend to keep up and keep yes, level course, headed. How do you how do you see the situation? Do you think they are charging too much? And if they are, what would be a solution to the situation? Yeah, all right, you see with the with the artist thing too and the dub thing too. Sometimes it's not what you know, you know, it's who you know too, you know. Mm. And as I say, links are something we will have in our like sense. Car, me grew up in the music thing. Star, me have all the links when it come to the music and mm. thing. Basically, any song I want, if I really want it that bad, I yeah. can get it. Cool. But you have certain tunes now where me as a big man, I think it hard for really go pay 500 pounds for one tune that's only going to last a month. Mm. That's my, but op- this is my opinion. See, yeah. me prefer for cut a tune, I mean, you know, say, if I pay 600 pounds for one song, I mean, you know, say, yo, if you know, if I need to play this tune three, four years down the line, we can still play it and it, yeah. and it still will mash up the dance. Mm-hmm. To me, that's me spending the money with, you know properly. Yeah. But if you really got, I th- I'm thinking, if you got spend that money now for your artist, where you know, so the tune is only gonna last four weeks, mm-hmm. eight weeks. Yeah. You know what I mean? That mm-hmm. not really make it to me. But sometimes in the business, we have to do these things. Yeah. You know what I mean? We have no choice. We have to. Part and parcel so of what you're going to do. Yeah, it's just a part of the thing. Part, mm. you, you see me? So, I does that. You are, guys are on a mission. I'm te- nine times out of ten, I'm always right now when you say bad sound's going to bust you. Yeah, man. And Trust I think me. Rolex, your performance really, for me, at Bad Dan, it did surprise me. I knew that you had it, but I just never got the chance to see you live. And the way how you dealt with it, delivered it, you was very focused, very concentrated on the whole situation. I see big things definitely happen. What's your future plans? Where would you like to see Rolex in, say, like the next two, three years from now? Oh, yes, sir, man. Oh, yes, sir, man. <laughs> two, three years from now. Totally different from what I go on. Two, three years from now. I'm talking about bookings all over the place. Mm-hmm. And I'm saying, right now, if my son go to New York, if Rolex go to New York right now, big things. Mm-hmm. You understand? Because I have the link over there. Them on go on now say I'm coming. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then because, trust me, rude boy. We want to play anyway. Italy, mm-hmm. you name it. We want to be there. If it's an egg, we want in the red. Mm-hmm. And that we say, yeah, you understand what I say? Okay. And that we are dealing with style. The music, we love it, you know. Mm-hmm. See, all right. I'm, it's not to me, me just want chin for eat our food out of that thing, you know, mm-hmm. and make him name and go try and do thing. But to me, I don't mind because me love music. Mm-hmm. You understand? He's a man who goes and get dub and do whatever, whatever. I'm not looking b- b- back for no big. Reward, but that's mm-hmm. one the, the reward that we want, what I want, and want for Chin. Mm-hmm. I just the fame with the sound thing, Rolex. When time people hear oh, the sound, them yeah. say, Yo, bad sound. watch out, you know, yeah. bad sound, you know. Mm-hmm. You understand? And that's what we are dealing with the music. We love it, star. Yeah, man. See, that we not leave it and Chin. I tell everybody, I'm gonna stop say it. When I say Chin, you say Rolex. Mm-hmm. See, him name Chin Rolex. Yeah. See, that's the same name. That's Rolex a chin. You understand me? I said, no respect. Yeah, man. Chin, what can I say? You know what, fam? Yeah, man. You're in a very good position yeah, right man. now. Yes. Yeah. You know them ones there where it's it's not only is it fantastic that you got an elder who's so has so much passion for the music, yeah, of course, but and also the has so is much belief in you. Plus the fact that you are actually talented. You're not investing into somebody who yeah. can't mix and fright for top on the mic and you're investing, investing and not now nah, yeah. move. 
Chin clearly has that vision. You have that vision. Yeah. Together, Rolex is going to be absolutely crazy, man. Before we're out of here, I want to say thank you for taking the time out. Of we're going to follow. We're going to we're going to follow the journey. Yes, man. You know what I mean. This is just like an insight and in what we're talking about. There's other issues around sound system culture, which we'll be coming back around yeah, and man. talking around the thing, man. But this is just like an insight for the yes, people man. them to know. Yeah, so thank course. you for taking the time out. Is there anybody you want to big up before yeah, before man. we're out? I want to big up Ayatollah. That's the third member on the team, and Lena, our admin. Big her up. Big up sound system clothing, of course. You know, crazy with the t-shirts. Big up big yourself. Up. Select the hype Respect and the man. whole. Wolverine family, family, you want to say something? Well, me have to pick up Scully, my virgin for years, over 30 years, me and mm -hmm. Scully are friends. Seeing from land in this country, I'm sovereign, you know, my virgin Scully. Mm -hmm. Seeing Captain, music master, big up yourself. You see, man, I say, Bigs, Melotone. Mm -hmm. Seeing, friend them, enough respect. Big up all sound man, all DJs. Because they're two different people, them that, you mm. know, see? But big up everyone in the sport, because we love the sport. Select the hype. You don't know the things there. Man, yeah? I respect every time. Bless so there it is, people. TV Sound System. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm going to sort out this light. So please, if you're watching and you saw it go a little bit dim, apologies for that, but I'm sure it didn't interrupt such a great insight into the sound Rolex. So keep it locked. Keep it subscribed. And you know where it is. Hit that like button. Subscribe, notification button, Sound System Clothing, United Fashion and Music, 2020, 10-year anniversary. It's going to be absolutely crazy. We're out. One. Peace.